<laughs> were you confident that no matter, you know, if say something were to happen in the ring, you know, where maybe a stiff shot or two were thrown, yeah, and yeah. maybe somebody was testing your manhood, mm -hmm. were you confident that no matter who you were in there against, that you could handle yourself? Well, if anybody could have went into the UFC, it would have been me. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I mean, I'm not, I'm not just putting myself over or anything like that. Um, but I remember um, John Tenta, um, Earthquake. You know, uh, they call him the Shark when he came. WCW, I don't know yeah. why they did that. Um, but Earthquake was a um, sumo wrestler, and he was very, very, very well. Um, he could handle himself very well. And and I, I used to, I mean, this is a almost 500 pound man. And I used to grapple with him on a regular basis. You know, I would waist lock him, you know, when he wasn't looking. And um, In the ring or this was out, like, no, out no, out in, the, in the back, in the, in the locker room. And um, it, it, he would he try to shake me off, and I would just, just be all over him, man. And um, God rest his soul, man. He moved to Houston, and um, he was he had cancer, and he was getting some chemo treatments. When, and he lived, and it was crazy. He lived right down the street from my house. That's right now? In Friendswood, oh, yeah. Oh, wow. And um, I was like, wow, you know, this is cool. So I used to go and visit him, and we used to talk all the time. And, and um, one day we were talking, and it's many, many years after WCW, literally many, many years. And he looks at me and he goes, you know, Booker, I never told you, but you're a really good wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> he said, no, man, no, really, man, you're a really good wrestler, man. He said, all the stuff you used to do with me back in the day, nobody could actually get away with doing that kind of stuff. You know, and I, it was crazy, you know, so, um, you know, being around guys like Manny Fernandez, you know, I remember Manny when we first went to uh, Japan, you know, and he was talking about Sambo, even way back then, you know, for so I, I used to love grappling, even way back then. Um, uh, Big Show. Big Show is another guy uh, that I used to. I, I used to. I used to mess with Big Show so much. I used to just ride him, you know, and mess with him all the time. In WCW. Oh, in WCW, I would just take him, you know, and grapple him, and just, just he couldn't do anything for. It literally, this went on for months, and uh, you know, and he used to always, but Booker, you just you need to leave me alone, man. And I just, just oh, man, what are you gonna do? You know, you're <laughs> gonna do nothing. You're just a big giant, you know. <laughs> and uh, so I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know it. But um, uh, he had been, uh, you know, talking to the Steiners about it. Steiners are, you know, former, you know, collegiate wrestlers, Michigan State wrestlers. And um, they had been working with him, you know, taught him a few tricks and whatnot. <laughs> and uh, I came in, you know, house show again, you know. So I'm going to waste lock him again just to mess with him. And Big Show threw me so far across the room, I hit my ankle on the door when I landed. <laughs> <laughs> and I looked at him and I go, you didn't have to do that, man. You know, he goes, yeah, all right. You know, so from that day on, I never messed with Big Show ever <laughs> again. You know, after a couple of lessons, you know what I mean, from the Steiners, you know. But but I tell you, he's another guy, man. I used to just, you know, work him around like like he was a little kid and whatnot. But so you you had a you, you wanted to always pick on the big giants. Apparently. Well, I mean, I, 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 I didn't pick. Penta, I didn't. I didn't, big pick, I didn't pick on guys or anything like that. But I was always trying to test myself. You know, that's that's one thing you you, you, you have to do. You have to test yourself. And I'm sure Jack Swagger, um, stepping inside of Bellator, he's coming off a win. Um, his last fight, like I said, about you know a month ago, uh, so something like that. Um, caliber of uh, competition. It was um, it was just like.